Right, um, Voyager, 98 Voyager, piece of shit. Um, let's see. I've just replaced the injector seals um, because I replaced the valve cover gaskets, which is fucking so extremely expensive. However, I never reassembled it. Somebody else did, and when they did, they fucked up the injector seals, and it was pissing gasoline out of all six injectors. So I replaced the injector seals, just put it back together, started it. Everything is fine, except... Hold on the torch. This injector, of course, the most difficult to get to one, it's leaking. So I've got to do it all again. Um, I just thought I'd do a very quick video on what you need to um, to access these. I've seen a few videos and they make it look like a nightmare. It really isn't that bad. It, and this includes replacing the valve cover gaskets, especially the one at the back. A lot of people replace this, remove this. I'm doing that. That's too much work. What you've got to do is remove the throttle assembly. Two nuts here. One there, one there. Uh, remove the EGR valve here, um, wherever the fucking hell that thing is, you have to remove that. This you can leave connected, you have to disconnect it but you can leave it on. Um, once you've removed them you need to disconnect the EGR pipe which is a, I don't know if you can see that here, can you see that? This here, you have to remove that pipe. Uh, one, two, three, four. Remove the coils for 10 millimeter bolts. So, I did remove one here. Uh, you can remove the alternator bracket. You do not have to remove the alternator, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is remove this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, this top bolt, and this plate comes off. And then uh, there's nothing holding this on. Um, you can take it off. So, what I'll do is because I'm holding my phone, I don't have my normal camera with me. I'm going to do this in stages. Um, and I will come back to it after each item is removed. Right, uh, two more things done. One, remove the coil, just four bolts here. Um, three bolts here, this is a size of it. The big one's 15, the other two, the big one at the back here is a 15, these are two 13s. And there's one with the third strap, one thirteen on top, and that comes out. See, I need to stay in place. Take this out the way, this is off. With this. I have to disconnect the uh, scuttle drain. Now, I will come back. What do I need to do? Yeah, one thing with this Voyager is this battery tray is a very handy bolt on. Uh, the engine on this thing is superb. It really is good. The gearbox is a piece of shape, but the engine is brilliant. So, I will do some more dabbity dabbity. Um, okay, throttle body is loose. Now, you've got to undo a few pipes. This one, which you can see is fuckered, I need to replace that. This one goes in between the banks, somewhere down there. Just disconnect it. Um, brake booster line, this one. Uh, that goes to the brake booster. This one goes to the EGR valve control vacuum line. Carefully, you don't break it, because as you can see, I broke it and I have to fucking um, put it together with that. This little valve thing, I'm sure it's meant to be fastened down, but I fucking have done with it, I don't know. This has two vacuum lines on it. Uh, one vacuum line is this plastic one that I broke that goes on there. The second vacuum line goes to the the second vacuum line goes to the EGR valve itself. I apologize if it's dark. Then it also has this little rubbery elbow thing here, which you'll see when I take it off. And then that should come free. 
it was amazing when you've done the thing once or twice you can just like bat back through it and the first time you do it it's really fucking done and as you can see we're getting more space now uh throttle body can come off get this pipe out the way down fucking there somewhere careful you don't break it now so what i've got to do now is take off the egr valve and disconnect the EGR pipe, that back bolt is a bugger, you can't get a socket on it because it because of its curve here, the curve, you can't get a socket on it, it's all span of work, but it's a very short thread, so it's not a problem. Let me just do that, take that off, disconnect that, and then I do believe I can start taking this off. Right, uh throttle body removed again, only two bolts, really simple. You can leave many of the things connected. Uh, the EGR valve pipe, can I get my phone in there? The EGR pipe thing, disconnect the two bolts again. Um, this fucking thing, whatever it is. Yeah, done that, done that, done that, nothing else there. Um, oh, one thing I did do is I've just remembered I put a tie wrap on the back to keep the wiring glue from touching the exhaust. I'm going to have to cut that. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it's loose anyway. Um, this is the, that's the EGR valve. Careful with the gasket. There, as you can see, it's fine. Um, with the, with the, um, the EGR tube here, this EGR tube here, I broke the gasket. Um, and I had to make a new one. I was very crude when I was. This is asbestos paper. If you can, oh, look at that. Um, if you can, don't use normal gasket paper um, because it burns. And this is asbestos paper. This cost me like, I don't know, 50 cents for a, a pedacito, sorry, a, in Mexico, of course, um, for a, a piece like this, which is more than enough. Um, so all I need to do now is cut that tie wrap, which is back here somewhere, there to back there somewhere, uh, just to stop the uh, wiring harness touching me. You can actually see it there. This, this here. Let's put that to stop the wiring harness touching the manifold. Uh, now I can actually undo one, two, three, four bolts and that will come off. There's nothing else holding it now. Uh, it is a hell of a struggle to trying to get it through this bleeding space, so uh, I mightn't be able to show you that. Um, but I'll do what I can. I hope they don't fucking break anything. You know, I can't, I hate undoing these connectors. You know those, those connectors with the little, like this, this thing, this red thing, I fucking hate them. I always end up just snapping the bleeding things off. Um, so I need to try and get some stuff out the way because it is just these four bolts now holding this on and that'll come off and then we've got access to the uh, injector rail and um, we'll come back at that. Right, um, manifold's off. It actually came out, I gave it just a quick wriggle this time and it came right out, no problem. This is where the EGR pipe goes on to. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, This is the injector that's leaking. This is the injector that's leaking. I don't know why it's leaking because I did take every care putting it back on, but it's leaking from the top, not from the bottom. But um, originally, this thing was just full of gasoline. It was just gushing out. Um, so what we'll need to do now is undo that, that, uh, that and that and take the injector rail off. Oh, we'll need to undo the uh, injector harnesses as well. Um, but I'm not doing that now. Why? Because I don't have the replacement o-rings. I need to get a new kit because shit, fucking look. This gasket is brand new and of course I fucking broke it taking it off. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Brand new. I don't know why I broke it taking her off. I was very careful. But oh, 
back and take gasket to get another one. Another 68 pesos, which is about, uh, I don't know, $3. 68 pesos is about $3.20, freedom books. Um, okay, so I will go and get the repair kit or the new seals and then uh, we'll put it all back together. This literally took me without stopping for the recording. The first time I did this, it was a fucking nightmare. I was terrified. I disassembled everything. Alternator, fucking, I took all this shit off to replace these. Um, these valve cover gaskets, they were shit, 30 bucks each or something like that. People kept giving me like the cork ones and they were just completely useless. These ones are like really thick neoprene or something preen. Um, gaskets, you can see where it's been leaking there onto the manifold. It doesn't leak anymore, thank fuck. But even if it does, um, I'm not so worried about um, taking it apart to change it now because this literally, let's see, without stopping to record, it took me eight minutes to take it to pieces. Uh, just shows you what you can do when you've uh, done a thing a few times, eh? Um, don't know what that is. Oh yeah, I know what you are. Oh, I obviously forgot to reconnect you. Okay. I'll put you somewhere I can see you so I don't forget again. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, so I'll get the bits and we'll, we'll come back to it. Just as a quick note, um, these are the tools I use to take everything off I just showed you. Pliers for the pipes, that was for the 30mm spanner for the EGR valve, for the EGR pipe, 10mm for the bracket, this for the coil pack, uh, a 10mm, a 10mm, a 15mm and a, no oh, sorry, a 10mm, a 13mm and a 15mm for all the other nuts. Uh, and this 13mm, only because it's uh, stubby. Um, for the EGR valve because it's very close and you can't get a normal thing in. That's it. That's all I need. That's all I needed to do that.